McLaren is at the centre of yet another controversy. But this time, it's not just about strategy or the papaya rules saga. It's about a rear-wing innovation that could change the game or break the rules. After Oscar Piastri's stunning victory in Baku and Lando Norris's charge from P15 to P4, McLaren is no longer just a midfield contender. But is their newfound speed really down to driver skill and car setup, or is there something more questionable at play? At high speeds, McLaren's DRS flap seems to be doing more than just opening up. Footage shows the entire flap rotating under load, something that's technically outlawed by the FIA. The DRS plane flexes, shedding drag and giving McLaren a straight-line speed advantage, as seen at Baku, Spa and Monza. Here's the issue. This kind of flexing is explicitly banned by the FIA's technical regulations, which states, any device bridging the gap between the upper and lower rear wing surfaces during DRS deployment is prohibited. It seems McLaren is walking a fine line between innovation and illegality. One team principal even commented, it's like they've found a cheat code in a video game, we're all playing by one set of rules and they've found a way to bend them. This isn't the first time McLaren has pushed the boundaries. Earlier in the season, their flexible front wing sparked controversy for bending under load to enhance airflow. How is McLaren getting away with this? The static tests used by the FIA simply aren't catching this flexing issue, much like Red Bull's flexi wings in 2021 or Aston Martin's innovations in 2023. Unless the FIA steps in, this flexi wing could be key to McLaren's dominance for the rest of the season. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc was surprised by McLaren's pace, saying their straight line speed was incredible, they just seemed to have something extra on the straights. Red Bull's Christian Horner said, if it's legal, we'll have to look at incorporating similar concepts. If it's not, then McLaren has some serious questions to answer. A protest seems likely, and the FIA may be forced to act. But for now, McLaren's flexing wings remain on the cars, helping propel them to the front of the pack. So, what do you think? Is McLaren pushing the limits of F1 innovation, or have they crossed a line? Are they on the verge of a new McLaren dynasty, or is this just the calm before the FIA's storm?